This is the report of the Nestle Company for Marketing 100 Term Project. In regards to marketing strategy, Nestle focuses on product differentiation to keep a competitive advantage in the marketplace. Cutting prices would sacrifice quality of the products, or at least lend to the perception that such a sacrifice was made. Nestle has a very powerful brand recognition in the market, so design overhauls would lose the nostalgia and trust the brand capitalizes on with consumers. Product differentiation by country and even by regional culture helps Nestle keep its sustainable, sustainable competitive edge. Nestle has a global network of more than 30 research and development centers across five continents to create culturally specific offerings that appeal to countries' specific values and needs. This helps Nestle create products that are tailor-made to different cultures' specific interests, whether they be increased nutritional offerings in Africa or products sensitive to the restrictions on certain ingredients in India. Nestle touts that R&D centers have both a global role and a more local role by meeting regional needs or providing know-how in specific areas of technical expertise, such as system technology and health sciences. A SWOT analysis of the Nestle company provides the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats to the brand. Some of the strengths of the brand include a diversified product and brand portfolio, research and development, distribution channels, geographic presence, proven track record with mergers and acquisitions, a strong brand reputation, strong relationships within the supply channel, and well-established relationships with partners. Some of the weaknesses of the brand include a consistency in the quality of products, CSR implementation, a 2015 lawsuit filed by India's government regarding alleged unfair trading practices, criticism regarding varied issues related to its supply chain and resources, the fact that most sales come from a small number of brands, increasing vulnerability to changing trends. Some brands are now seen as out of date or old fashioned, and high dependency on advertising. Some opportunities that are presented to this corporation are emerging trends toward healthier food options, strong research and development division, expansive sales channels, partnering with other strong brands, the acquisition of brands established in health and well being industry, the development of new markets growth of online purchasing trends, expanding the middle class in other countries is likely to increase the market, emerging trends in countries such as China and India that are changing the buying habits of consumers. Some of the threats to the brands include food, con food contamination, healthier eating trends, trends against the popularity of chocolate products, an uptick in private labeling offerings, rising cost of raw ingredients, pressure from retailers to lower prices, and increasing trends toward eating outside the home. In regards to Nestle's target market, Nestle's traditional nostalgic brands such as Carnation, Gerber, and Coffee Mate appeal to baby boomers who associate these brands with their childhood and a trusted name. With Nestle's, Nestle's increasing focus on health and wellness brands, in addition to an increased portfolio of healthy options, they are seeking to broaden their target markets. The targeted market for their health wellness brands, such as L'Oreal, Garnier, Kiehl's, and Ralph Lauren, are Generation X, individuals born between 1965 and 1976, and Generation Y, born between 1977 and 2000. As these generations continue to have children and approach middle age, these health and wellness brands will hold greater appeal to these age brackets. Nestle is investing in the future of their brand by appealing to Generation Z as well, which are those born after 2000, with health and wellness brands like Maybelline and Diesel, along with candy and ice cream brands such as Wonka, Dryers, and Drumstick. Competition A key competitor of Nestle in the novelty and candy market is Mars Inc. With their key brands such as M&M's, Dove, Skittles, and Twix, Mars serves as a primary competitor to Nestle's novelty division, including the Wonka, Sweet Tarts, Kit Kat, Rolo, and Butterfinger brands. Another competitor in this market is Hershey. With their products such as the classic Hershey chocolate bar, Reese's peanut butter offerings, Hershey's Kisses, Hershey has also positioned itself as a key competitor. According to Tatista, Nestle leads the novelty market in the United States with their drumstick brand earning more than $240 million in 2015 alone. While not a market leader in the U.S., the innovation of Hershey's is poised to be the current innovation leader in the novelty candy industry, recently winning the Best in Show Award at 2016 Sweet and Snack Expo with their Reese's Peanut Butter Cup filled with Reese's Pieces candies. 
Nestle will need to utilize their extensive R&D department to continue to stay ahead of emerging trends in this division. A key competitor of Nestle in the health and wellness division is, D is Danone. According to the Hope Lee of the Euro Monitor, Nestle and Danone are primary competitors and both have a strong presence in the bottled water and baby food. Nestle le leads the market in the U.S. with $10.4 billion in baby food sales in the U.S. in 2015 alone, compared to Danone's $5.7 billion. Nestle outpaced Danone in the water, bottled water sector with $7.8 billion sold in the U.S. in 2015, compared to their competitors' $6.7 billion. Danone's dairy products outpaced Nestle in the U.S. during the same time frame with $11.8 billion compared to Nestle's $5.9 billion. In this division, Nestle has capitalized on its R&D division and leads the market in innovation. Here are some of the packaging for Nestle's products. Some of the packages, such as Haagen-Dazs, Dryers, Carnation, and Crunch products have kept their packaging very similar to the historic routes, which effectively capitalizes on the nostalgia and trust built around these brands over decades. For other items, such as Kit Kat, Milo, Nesquik, and Gerber, the packaging has changed throughout the years to appeal to children, who often drive behave buying behaviors for these products. Some of the well-being and healthcare brands could use some updating to more closely relate to products that other more luxurious brands are providing. This will help capitalize on social motivations to buying and will increase perceived value while maintaining the existing appeals of the healthy lifestyle. Branding. Nestle's flagship lines include the Nestle logo prominently displayed on packaging. This helps increase and maintain brand awareness. The IBS Center for Management Research points out Nestle's logo was an important part of the company's corporate identity. The Nest was a graphic translation of Henry Nestle's name, which meant Little Nest. Likewise, the continuity of the use of the prominent Nestle logo also capitalizes on the brand equity of their portfolio of products and encourages brand loyalty for their varied food product lines. There are multiple lines under the Nestle banner, many of which are not food items. For these lines, such as the L'Oreal family of, pro of brands, they, they emphasize the perceived value of the brand. With their tagline, I'm worth it, and celebrities featured in their advertisements, the line encourages the market to indulge in their products, just like movie stars, models, and singers do. To increase appeal to men, Kiehl's participated in a very successful co-branding venture with Marvel Comments. L. O'Reilly Adams recalls that Kiehl's worked with Marvel Comments' Context Studio to create a branded issue of the Captain America comic. The storyline was custom to Kiehl's. Captain America must protect rare botanicals hidden in the Kiehl's 3rd Avenue basement of New York. Nestle Services While the bulk of Nestle's offerings revolve around products, the Nestle family of brands does offer services as well. Nestle offers customer service, which can be reached by phone or email, which promises response within 24 hours. Nestle also offers programs which assist the food service industry in utilizing Nestle products as part of tailored food and beverage solutions with a focus on taste and health. There is also an emphasis on what Nestle coined as creating shared value, which they define as including a socially responsible and environmentally sustainable approach to how we source, manufacture, package, and transport our products, and how our products impact the quality of life for everyone we touch, including farmers who supply us, suppliers, trade partners, and consumers. Specific to their product line aimed at pregnant women and children under five years old, Nestle has developed their Nestle Baby program, which includes coupons, samples, feeding guides, and customized content such as tips, tools, videos, and community support board. Touting a philosophy of mom and baby first, this program cites World Health Organization suggestions aimed toward breastfeeding and focused on their Canadian market primarily. Partnering the Nestle and Gerber brands masterfully, the program reminds customers that Nestle and Gerber share a philosophy of giving babies the best in everything we do. Together, we offer a lifetime of trusted infant nutrition, giving your baby the best start with every start. Nestle's Trends in Pricing 2016 is highlighted by the overall trend of product awareness, especially as it relates to the food industry. Much of this increased awareness and education will come from Internet sources. Michael Whiteman, food and restaurant consultant, observes that to eat right, people are going online to raise their food IQ and make more informed choices. This has only heightened the prevalence of so-called functional foods. Food Trends report found that while the concept of functional foods has been around for a decade, 
Interest in these specific foods is growing faster than before. These trends offer potential opportunities for the Nestle family of brands because their online footprint via their highly developed Nestle.com portal provides an abundance of information regarding health and wellness, as well as an Ask Nestle site for consumers to educate themselves about Nestle products, health and wellness, and other prevailing world concerns such as the environment and human rights. The pull towards functional foods could be a potential threat to the brand, highlighted by traditional foods heavy in carbohydrates, but with the addition of emerging functional foods, this threat could be mitigated and converted into an opportunity to cre increase market share. Nestle, as one of the world's premier food groups, uses competitive parity to ensure that they maintain their market dominance. In their press release, Nestle said competitive pricing helped, lift, helped to lift sales growth in spite of tough conditions in emerging markets and Europe, reassuring investors worried by recent negative news from its peers. Also, with an emphasis on education and support, Nestle's customer orientation helps add value to maintain their competitive edge in the marketplace. With a strong portfolio of strong brands, Nestle has found that their offerings are primarily, primarily inelastic and that normal fluctuations in price do not affect the demand for theirs. To showcase their market penetration strategy, Reuters notes that sales in emerging markets, which account for about 45% of group sales, were up about 8.8% against 8.2% in the first half. That is not to say that this strategy is their sole approach to business. Marketing 91 points out, Nescafe and Maggie, being the clear leaders, are priced with higher margins for the company as compared to competition. This is because the product quality is good enough and a bit of pr skimming price will not cause the customer to switch brands. To sum up Nestle's pricing approach, they use a highly customized approach to each market to maximize returns and revenue for the brand. Nestle uses an intensive distribution strategy to maintain an expansive presence in the market. As a nationally banded product, the key to maintaining Nestle's dominance in the market is broad access and appeal. Located prominently in conventional supermarkets, supercenters, warehouse clubs, and convenience stores, Nestle's food, beverage, and health products, from Dryers and Wonka to Gerber's and Pure Life brands, can be found at most food retailers in the United States and abroad. General merchandise retailers such as department stores and specialty stores carry Nestle's perfume lines under the Ralph Lauren, Yves Saint Laurent, and Giorgio Armani lines. Full line discount stores carry most if not all Nestle brands from their beverage and food lines to their makeup and wellness lines as well as their pet care products. Nestle has an expansive digital footprint on social media. With over 210 million fans on Facebook and over 1,000 pieces of unique content per day, Nestle has invested heavily on its presence on social media. In fact, they have over 200,000 employees associated with their social media platforms. Additionally, their website is incredibly interactive and educational and allows consumers, medical professionals, and food service industry personnel to educate themselves as to the associated value of the Nestle family of brands. Consumers can find links to frequently asked questions, can access Nestle's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Google Plus accounts and can email the company requesting an email or phone response to inquiries or concerns. Nestle products can be seen in advertising on television, in print, on radio spots, out of home resources, and on the internet. Many of Nestle's brands have become synonymous with health, safety, and quality, which speaks to the success of their omnipresent advertising approach. One can hardly open a magazine or turn on the television without seeing commercials for Nestle's food, beverage, health, wellness or pet lines. The tagline from their L'Oreal line which declares I'm worth it has become a cliche and a battle cry for 30 to, six, to 50 something women across the United States. What expected parent isn't familiar with the Gerber brand and what parent of a child doesn't know the Nesquik bunny? The advertising strategy of Nestle has managed to saturate the market with their products without the brand exhaustion that can be faced by some. Personal selling for the majority, majority of Nestle's line of products would not be beneficial for the brand. Face-to-face -face selling works better for emerging brands and complicated products. As a firmly established food and beverage brand, many of the items don't lend themselves to this form of sales. Additionally, their health and wellness brands have an established reputation to capitalize on. This concludes our presentation on the Nestle brand. For more information regarding this product, including links to the work cited in this presentation, we can be reached at nesslee-co.tumblr.com. Thank you very much.